Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining today's session. My name is Ankit, and I'm going to take this Automation Anywhere, right? And we'll try to also discuss that uh, what is Automation Anywhere platform, right? And how you can get your own version of Automation Anywhere installed on your machine, how you can get Automation Anywhere Community Edition, right? And we are going to learn a bit more about Automation Anywhere platform. Yep. At the end, I'm going to try to tell you uh, you know, what are the features that are available in UiPath using which you can perform the invoice extraction using Automation Anywhere platform. All right, so let us start. So, well, invoice processing is one of the feature of Automation Anywhere platform. Yep, Automation Anywhere is an RPA platform, right? So just as we have invoice processing, yep, likewise, there are so many other features which are available in Automation Anywhere platform, right? So in this session, I'm going to first tell you about how you can install automation largely. Yeah, we will cover the features of automation anywhere platform, right? And uh, only at a brief level. Yeah, because that feature is an AI and ML based feature in which you would upload the invoice and it would do the processing of the invoice. So about that, I will talk to you about some theory. Yeah, and there may not be a lot of content, you know, uh, basically for one hour, we'll not be talking about the invoice processing okay so that's the disclaimer okay so agenda yeah so what are we going to discuss in this session that we have so we'll discuss the introduction to rpa that is what is rpa we will learn about the different types of rpa tools which are available in the market right so we'll learn about the rpa tools yeah we'll learn about what is automation anywhere We'll learn about automation anywhere editions. Yeah, what are the various editions of automation anywhere platform? Yep. We'll learn about automation anywhere installation. Yep. And how do we go about with installing automation anywhere platform? We will also discuss automation anywhere architecture. Yep. Automation anywhere bot, commands, and client. Okay. All right. So let us start with the base bare basic understanding of what exactly is robotic process automation. Yep. So what is RPA really? Right. So what is robotic? So robotic is any entity which is able to mimic human actions is what we call as a robot. So that is what a robot is. Right. Then what do we understand by a process? Yeah, a sequence of steps which lead to a meaningful activity is what we call as a process. Right. And automation is when any process is done by a robot without human intervention it is said to be automated right so this is what we call as robotic process automation right so in rpa what we do is using the software components or using the softwares what the softwares do is they are able to mimic human actions and using those human actions yeah we are able to perform automation without requiring any human intervention yeah so this is what rpa is in all in all this is how we work with robotic process automation yep top rpa tools there is a plethora of rpa tools which are available in the market so these are the top rpa tools which are available in the market yeah we have uh, say ui path we have automation anywhere nice is there pega is there antworks is not no longer antworks is a company that has closed but it used to be an rpa development company we have Blue Prism, Redwood, yeah, another Monday, Work Fusion, so on and so forth. Yeah. So that is what is about there. Right. So here we will learn about automation anywhere. Right. So yeah, so automation anywhere is a global leader in in the digital workforce or in the RPA space. And as such, this is just a you know small list, but almost all the large companies, and these are the large companies which implement this tool for so many other companies. So we can't have an exhaustive list, but all the large companies, what the slide means is that they use this automation anywhere tool. Yep. Automation anywhere, what exactly this tool is? I'll just show you, you know, how you can create your account on this tool. But automation anywhere is an RPA tool, yeah, using which yeah, you can automate the rule-based tasks. It offers cognitive automation to automate unstructured and semi-structured data. This tool also provides workforce analytics to generate real-time actionable based insights. So it has a lot of features. Yeah, not only automation, it's all, it will also allow you to how to uh, track the automation, allow you to derive analytics, yeah, create dashboards, and learn where your RPA platform is going. Okay. 
now as far as automation and where additions are concerned uh, there used to be version 11 most of the organizations are still running version 11 although almost all the organizations which are there most of them have or have migrated and many of them are migrating to automation anywhere enterprise version 2019 because version 11 has been discontinued by automation anywhere right so these organizations are now using automation anywhere 2019 there is a community version as well which is a restricted version of the enterprise edition that means that uh, it is fit for individual developers so you can create or there is a community edition that can be created or that you can create an account upon okay so these are the features of enterprise edition right so what are, whatever features are provided in the enterprise edition same features are provided in the enterprise edition 2021 as well but there is there are subtle differences right so while well, all these features remain the same yeah there is mobile app there is uh, unlimited coding or unlimited processes you can create you cannot run you can only create yeah, unlimited number of bots you can again create and for others you would have to purchase the licenses yep you'll get technical support yep you will get certification training so on and so forth enterprise 2021 again yeah it's it is available on cloud and on-prem as well yeah rest of the features remain the same so main feature of this is that it is on-prem and on cloud and the development platform is completely web-based basically you don't require any other tool to be installed if you have to do the development you open the browser you log in into the system and that's where you are able to do the automation okay community edition is same as enterprise edition it's just that in the community edition there are some features which are restricted so you will not be able to access the full force of automation anywhere platform so this is what is about the community edition okay these are the hardware and software requirements yeah most of the requirements you would meet yeah so in most of the organization for example for enterprise edition 8 core is the minimum cpu that any organization would have 16 gb ram is the minimum machine that any organization will use for production so but these are the by and large the hardware and software requirements for automation anywhere platform and these requirements are by the way for on prem okay because if it is on cloud you don't require any sql server you don't require or you don't need to really worry about the processors or ram or disk space don't need to worry about the back end operating system so this is for on-prem version of automation anywhere okay. largely yeah this is how the architecture of automation anywhere looks like yeah there is a bot creator and bot creator is basically a type of license where you will do the development yeah so you create the code and then that code you upload to control room and from control room you deploy the code on to various other machines so this is how you work with this platform so again over here with edureka you will get say overview you will get a very good these are the topics that will be covered in automation anywhere training program yep so you'll get introduction to automation anywhere yep you will get automation anywhere uh, hands-on and commands you'll get to know you will get to know automation anywhere commands metabot and its usage yep advanced features of automation anywhere yep features of enterprise web control room and so on and iq bots yep so these are the different types of bots that exist in automation anywhere version 11 so there is something called as an iq bot that you can work with version 11 there is something called as a task bot or a meta bot task bot is a bot which is a bot which is completely rule based no ai and ml based capabilities exist iq bot contains some cognitive capabilities and metabots allow you to create reusable bots yeah using apis using dlls and you can integrate it with the existing custom developed code these are the common automation anywhere commands that you see over here right so there are windows actions are there there are mouse clicks string operations files and folders web recorders ocr keystroke rest web services then over here we have automation anywhere clients yeah, so this is how version 11 automation anywhere client look well this slide is a bit dated so what i'm going to show you is how you can get the automation anywhere community edition okay so if you want to get automation anywhere community edition 
So this is how it would look like. Let me see if I'm able to get no. Okay, so you go over here, type. Community edition, you go over here. Okay, so here you write your name, Ankit Kumar, well, business email. You fill in that form. I can't fill in that form right now, but I will show you. See, so this is how your automation anywhere. Once you register this kind of an email you will get once you click on this link. Yeah, so you will access to the control room. Okay, so I'll write my email address over here. So you will need to provide your email address and password. Now remember my username click login. Let us see if it will allow me. Yep. So this is how your automation anywhere enterprise control room looks like this is the community edition. So because it's a community edition, you will not see so many other features which are available over here. Right. But over here if you have to create a bot. So let us say I want to create a very basic bot. So I'll have to go over here say my First bot Let's go. Let's say zero four I'll click on create and edit. So this is how the editor looks like right over here These are called as actions, right? So this is how I can create a very simple automation Let's say I want to display a message box. So I'll go over here. I right? go to the start and here I will write the message box, right? So over here. What do I want to say? say So this is how I will create a very basic bot. I click save. Right once I have saved it right I can press run. Right so before I run it. Yeah, there is something called as a a r i yeah, this setup you will have to install on your system. This is the setup that is responsible for running your automation. Right so this is the Basically the libraries or this is the exe that will be installed on your system So I will try to log in over here also So over here, so how do you get access to this yeah, how to download that I will show you See, so it will download certain dependencies before it deploys right? and see over here it has sent the command and we see a message box. So what has happened is automation anywhere has sent a command. See if we go to home. See this is your automation anywhere runtime interface assistant, right? So here you can see the processes which are deployed on your machine. See so over here. See if you want to record a process you can record from over here. See it says two of the two created processes remain you can create two processes over here if you click so you cannot run it. But this is how a, a RI look you can upgrade to enterprise to see all the features that you have over here in automation area. here. It shows you the device on which it is running. So it is already connected and here it shows me my credentials right. So over here I will go it has logged me out. Basically what I'm trying to show you over here is that this exe must be connected to your control room sorry to your control room over here once it is connected and when you create the bot see if you click on automation here you will be able to see all the bots. So just now I created a bot say 4th July. Yeah, that's what it is today. Yeah, so here you can 
create the just create the pot see so if you click over here this is how you can edit and here these are called as actions right now what i will do is i'll go to my automation anywhere control room right and what i will do is i'll try to create an iq bot let us see if it will allow me yep so this is the iq bot that will allow you to do invoice processing right so how you can create it so you say click uh, or click over here create a learning instance so i say 04 july processing yep then what kind of things we want to read invoices what is the language of the invoices i can choose the language this is the language that it supports what do i want to read invoices yeah and what kind of model i want to use basically the backend engine that will process or read our invoices since this is community edition it will allow me only the pre-trained model so i'll click next okay over here these are the details that it says that it will be able to extract for me from the invoice right so if sorry if you want to create if you want to create say add more fields say for example in your field let us say you have field name is say gstn number right so you can create say gstn so you will have to define what is the label of the field that you want to extract within your invoice right and till what confidence level that means to what degree of accuracy if the automation anywhere reads it that you want it to be read properly is it a required no it's an optional field yeah. are there any validation rules you can put some validation rules for example gsp number is a very specific number with a specific format so you can create it like that right likewise over there there were certain table fields so you could have created those table fields also like in an invoice if there, are, there is a table and you want to extract data from that table that's what you can do yeah so over here see now your learning instance is created now what you can do is you can click over here to view the status yeah so it says no request to show create your first request now right it says that there are no requests for the invoices to be processed see over here again we are over here then there is a detailed view see over here this is the detailed view and this is the table you can click my completed task my pending task and so on and so forth okay so this is how you can view the status right then access see process documents so over here you can upload the invoices if you have any invoice then we can upload that over here earlier automation and where you used to give us some sample invoices we used to get just hold on yeah see for example i want to read the data from this invoice right so what i will do is i will upload this invoice onto my instance over here see so here i will go yeah what it says send the data right and download data to see the a device or device pool yeah processing the document needs to yeah so bws so there is something called a device pool that you will have to create so that this document is processed but over here i don't think i will be able to create any device pool because this is community addition so let us see here we are in the devices already connected no no it will not allow me yeah but otherwise we go to this learning instance right over here we cannot connect to any that's why i said i will not be able to show you everything that we have over here
picked up. So it has started processing the document. Okay, so now what we'll do is we can view the status. Okay, so this is currently open. Open means that the request is being processed. So let us see what it says. So it is currently being processed. So it is queued. Let us see. It will take a while when this invoice gets processed. See, and over here we can create the process. See, so this tells me what is the process. Yeah, on our bot. See, this is we clicked on. You know, with view AARI bot. So this is the view that we see. So this is being processed. So let's see how long it would take for uh, it to process our request. Okay, it will be processed after a while. So once it is processed, you will get the results, right? Results would be that the data which is there in the invoice, that data will be shown. So while we wait for it to run, yeah, so let us see. So I just hope that it processes the request and gets us the result. Over here, there are a few more things that you can see. Nothing in the valid. What's validation queue is say this data that is extracted, right? Now we don't know whether it will be extracted, everything will be accurate or not, because this still runs on probability, right? So we get a validation station of validation task wherein you know the extracted data that we have from this invoice that will get over here, and we can quickly validate the data or the invoices that we have over here I'll extract the data right. then if the extraction is successful then it will go to the validation station so let us see how it works yep. but by and large this is how we can work with the extraction of the invoice so we'll just wait for a while this is a community edition so it's not very fast yeah it is extremely slow right but once you have the enterprise edition in the organization 
you would have almost unlimited resources and using those unlimited resources you can easily work with this kind of It is queued now. Yeah, so request was created. Now it is queued. So yeah, it will take a while. Yeah, but after a while it will get processed and you will get the results from over here. So this was about our automation anywhere in voice extraction feature that we have over here. Right. As such, there are a few more things which are over here. This is a control room. So automation anywhere comes with various components. So there is this RP which will automate your process cognitive automation that will you know apply some cognitive capabilities to extract the data then bot insights over here you can create interesting business intelligence dashboards see we'll just try to see see Now, this kind of dashboards you can create see so over here see for example you will get this dashboard you can customize these dashboards as well so that was the operations dashboard likewise there is a business dashboard that you can create but community addition is really really limited see so you can see you know how many devices are offline how many devices are online bot schedules your device history so on and so forth right so that's what you can do over here yep then there is a digital assistant which is a, a separate type of license yeah this license what it can do is it can connect with machines right and you can work with this thing together and then there is a discovery bot right so in the discovery bot what you can do is you can and get various employees to connect to this and whenever they have any automation idea they can put that automation idea over here right and once they put that automation idea over here yeah you can basically create a process so say see so over here you can record a process so for example let's see what has happened with our request it's still in progress extraction failed it's trying to extract the data so once it extracts then we'll be able to get the data so that is how it would work yeah. so that was about the invoice extraction that we have in automation and tool. so that has run let us see again this download is in progress so let us see not sure why it was not able to download there are some connectivity issues that we may face at times but it is able to download Yep. but this is how if it were an enterprise edition it would be more stable so this is how you can download and work with automation anywhere enterprise edition over here in automation anywhere tool yeah so that was about it yeah feel free to join certain sessions yeah on join the webinars on the automation anywhere
with edubreaker platform and just see if you are interested in the training so all right then thanks everyone for joining today's session yeah so i hope you were able to learn about what is rp what are the features how you can you know kind of get started with the invoice extraction piece although because of some connectivity issues it was not able to download and give us the results but this is how the automation anywhere tool works when it comes to invoice and the data extraction